I have made the ultimate plasma cutter table that's packed full of features, but it didn't start out that way in the beginning. And some of the features came about by accident. Using a plasma cutter is messy work. And I hate mess. So that's where I started with my design. A table to cut on and reducing the mess. <laughs> I've used plenty of crap tables in the past. So I knew the importance of good ergonomic design. Basically, that means arranging a workplace system or equipment in such a way that makes it easier and safer for people to use. And so with that said, I made this. <laughs> for good ergonomic design, the height of the table had to match my physical height to reduce the chance of back strain. Because we all know that back strain is caused by really weak office people trying to do a real man's job. I just can't do it. So the rule of thumb is to stand up straight with your arms bent at 90 degrees and measure from the floor to your elbow. Then take about two inches off the total measurement and that will be the height of your table. Now for the length and width of the table, I needed to take into consideration the size of the sheet metal that I would be cutting on the table, which is 2.4 by 1.2 meters. So I settled on the length being just over half a sheet long at 1.3 meters and adding an ingeniously designed table extension to the side. Genius! And then for the width, I just measured the full reach of my arm that was comfortable. It was around 0.8 of a meter. But I still haven't figured out how to catch the sparks and reduce the mess. So I did a little Google search looking for some ideas and came across this YouTube video which had a funnel thingy built into the table to make the mess go in the bucket. Then I did what any great inventor would do. I stole their design like a ninja and made it better. Now just hold on, before you go get your knickers in a knot, I did give ZH Fabrication some credit in the description of my video, just a little bit. Because I wanted this to be the ultimate plasma cutter table, I decided to sit on the idea and let it ferment for a week or two to see if I could come up with any more features. Then while I was hard at work one day, an idea just hit me. Aha! If I enclosed the whole table and put a large fan inside, it would suck all of those nasty fumes out of the air. Mmm. Fumes. <laughs> and now with that said, I think it's time for an epic build montage. I don't like to brag, but uh, pretty good at welding. The table was coming along rather nicely. When it came time to build the funnel thingy to catch all the sparks, I wanted it to be perfect. So I measured twice and cut once and the square hole at the bottom of the funnel turned out perfectly not square. So in the end, I cut it twice to make it square. And I continued on with making the back panel, showing off some of my circle work. Everything was going so well, and I was making great progress. So I stood back to admire my handiwork. When suddenly I realized that I had welded the rear panel onto the front side of the table. Son of a After my monumental stuff up, I thought it would be a good time to just kick back, relax, and maybe test out my new plasma gouging tips, you know, and remove some of those wrong welds I did earlier.
Once I had finished my rage-induced episode, I decided to punish myself for my bad behaviour and cut a hundred slats with my handheld grinder. And this got me thinking, by accident, it would be really awesome if I could do all of my grinding work on this table, like a full-on workstation doing everything. So after a whole lot more grinding, welding and paint sniffing, I ended up with this. I can cut and grind away all day with no mess, thanks to this funnel thingy and the foldable side walls. And the table extension can support my large ass. But the one feature I think that makes this the ultimate is the... Ah, uh, cut, cut, cut. Oh, who's messaging me now? Got some idiot online asking me if this is a barbecue. I mean, really, does it look like a barbecue to you? Anyways, as I was saying, this really is the ultimate barbecue. I mean, plasma cut a table, getting around. Don't mind saying so myself. Tastes like <coughs> That was nasty. Hey kids! Yeah. Do you want some hot dogs? Yeah! Hot dogs! Now with all jokes aside, I really do believe the best part about this table is definitely the fume extraction system. It sucks the crap right out of the air and sends it outside. The <laughs> best idea ever. My neighbour even thinks so too. 